I am creating this video to introduce some fundamental concepts behind the customer journey digital transformation methodology. In particular, we're going to focus in on the entire digital business model transformation. There are two key fundamental tenets of digital transformation. Tenet number one is being able to identify the sources of customer and market value creation. And tenant number two is optimizing your internal operations in order to capture those sources of value. This video is going to focus in on that first tenant. We're going to walk through a, a use case or an example showing how we can identify sources of customer market value creation. And then we're going to explore what we could do to try to capture those sources of value creation. So the use case we're going to go after is going out to eat. We've all done that. It should be pretty familiar. And as you think about the journey for going out to eat, like you and your significant other want to go out and get a bite to eat, there is a number of steps or outcomes that have to happen along that process, right? You first get the inspiration to go out to eat, and then you make the reservation, you get dressed, you drive to the restaurant, you wait to be seated, you order, eat, pay the bill, drive home, and have an afterglow. And the different activities or steps or outcomes along the process, some are very, very positive. You know, for example, having the inspiration to go out to eat can be very, very fun, right? It's very high value, you're excited, trying to figure out where to go. The actual process of going to the restaurant and ordering and eating and sharing any sort of experiences, um, all very fun and exciting. But there's also tasks and activities along that journey map that are less than exciting, right? Making the reservation can be a hassle. Having to drive to the restaurant and park and then walk to the restaurant can be a hassle. Having to wait to, uh, to pay the bill and driving back home. So there are, there are activities here that represented by the green arrows that are of high value, that the customer highly values that, those aspects or outcomes of the journey. And then there are the things in red that are the inhibitors of value creation. And a couple of key points here. Number one is there are sometimes activities that can be positive for one person and negative for another person. For example, getting dressed for my wife is a very exciting thing, right? She gets to go through and figure out what she's gonna wear and she gets all dolled up and takes a lot of time to do that. For her, it's a high point. For me, it's a low point. I just wanna put on a pair of blue jeans and some tennis shoes and a polo shirt and go do it, right? So this points to the importance of doing these journey maps and if you do them, make sure you have a, the adequate number of personas identified and developed a different journey map for each persona because some personas will value some tasks higher than others. The second thing is you can clearly drive or deep dive into any one of these tasks. For example, driving to the restaurant, you're going to have to make sure, for example, you've got gas in the car and the, there's the car is cleaned up and ready for your, your spouse to ride with you and you know the tires are full and things like that. So um, each of these tasks could subdivide into more detailed tasks, um, of which some of those activities in that sub detail could be very high value in this case you know getting gas and making sure the tires are full would not be high value at least from my perspective so if these are the high value tasks high value outcomes and these are the low value inhibitors what is it that we could do to try to either monetize the high value tasks even more and mitigate the low value tasks so let me walk through an example ordering for example making the reservations I use a tool called, or an app called OpenTable. Makes the reservation process very easy, very straightforward, and in fact, I even get points for making reservations. Points will turn into dollars that I can use to go out to eat. And so OpenTable actually takes that negative make reservation experience and not only neutralizes it, but actually makes it valuable, right? It's higher value for me. Likewise, going to and coming back from the restaurant, I could use something like Uber or Lyft who will pick me up at my front door and drop me off at the front door at the restaurant. And it, it mitigates all the aspects of having to get to the car and then drive, navigate through traffic, find a parking spot, and then if the parking spot's not near the restaurant, then walking back to the restaurant. And I also take advantage of social media, for example, to share experiences. Um, but there's also other things here, like look at this waiting for the bill and paying the bill. Right? It's a negative experience. I hate sitting there after you're done eating, waiting for the waiter to bring your bill to you, and then waiting to pay. There's an opportunity here for somebody to come along and to add more value here. So what I want to do with this example is I just wanted to highlight the importance of creating these customer journey maps 
from the perspective of the right number of personas, and then being able to go through and figure out where are the high value outcomes that I could leverage or exploit or monetize, and where are the negative outcomes or inhibitors where I could apply something, I could um, apply a new approach to really turn that negative into a positive.